All right, this last video is going to be showing you how to um, judge Congress using online balloting, which we have used before and it has been pretty successful. Again, uh, hopefully it's not getting too repetitive, but again, I received my text pairing showing that I am now judging SC or Student Congress in room 109. And here's the panel, the time, and the message to start the round. So I head to the round and I know I need to log into my tab room account. And once I'm in, it's now going to show me my history as before. We've now judged impromptu in public forum. And here is Student Congress. And we're going to click Start the Round. And it's going to work somewhat similar to IE's, but you can see that it's a little bit different in its initial screen. We have our round information. And up here we have two tabs, Speeches and Rankings. Now, Rankings is the one we care obviously most about. So in the round, you're going to have to keep track, just as you would if you were doing it on paper, of how those speeches are, are panning out and who you would award the ranking. So in this case, we have a, a fairly large house, um, and you will rank them in the order that they competed in. Or, excuse me, in the order that you feel like they are from first speaker all the way to last. So we're going to just, for the sake of time... We're going to go through and we're going to pretend like this was a perfect order, first place all the way down. Okay, and then we have this submit ballot button, but again, we have the ability to leave general feedback. So if there's something you want everybody in the house to see, you can, you can add that and the entire session will see it. Or you can complete in for, you know, specific feedback for each of the entries. That's how I would complete the ballot. Your other option is to click on the speeches tab, pick the competitor entry you want, and you can put in here topic um, and give them some more specific feedback. I'm okay with you doing that and um, being able to give more detailed comments, but the really the most important would be this rank as you go down. This is what a typical Congress ballot would look like. And then we're going to put some comments. All right, and we're going to save the comments in the ballot. And then what it will do is it will give us that summary of the rank. Again, it puts it on the left hand side. So whoever is first, so code 100 is first, all the way down, up in the right hand corner, Here's our reason for decision, and then we're going to uh, confirm it. And what that will do is it will send that information um, to Tab Room. And again, if you're like, man, there's a lot of people in that session, and I would like to offer more feedback, we're going to edit feedback, and we're going to go to that specific competitor, and we're going to just start adding comments to them. Okay, And we can always edit our general comments as well. We'll hit save, it'll bring us right back, and we can go and click this button, full pairing, and it'll take us right back to the, uh, the full pairing that we had. Anytime you want to refresh or restart the page or get back to where you started, the best trick in Tab Room is just to click on your name, your username at the top, and it brings you right back. And now if we look at our history, we can see that we have judged at state, and we've judged it impromptu, we've judged Congress and public forum, and we're able to uh, keep track of that and be able to see how we're doing over time. And so that's really the essence of online balloting. As I mentioned, it's very simple. Um, if for any reason you have a problem with an online ballot, please come talk to the tab room. Um, at the worst case scenario, we can always print you one. Um, if your device is not working, we sometimes have some replacement devices. Um, this can be done on a, on a tablet, a computer, or even a smartphone. It's, it's very easy to do. So I hope uh, it, it is as beneficial for you as it is for us in saving you time and increasing efficiency. Please let us know if we can help provide you with any more training or answer any more questions.